Hey. Yes, you know what it is. It's Eleanor. I've been playing this game for two hours straight. And I realized I wasn't recording. Do you know how mad I am? So this is part two. Definitely not part five. <sighs> you know what? Raid mode. I want raid mode. This is angry mode. You know what? Raid mode. We're getting darker. So let's get start resume. I can't believe I'm angry right now. I haven't. Pl I'm gonna definitely make two videos today to make it up, to make me feel so calm. I'm looking straight at my recording. They're both all three recording at the moment. <sighs> okay. I'm here. I took down a suspect. It took me a while, and we're on a mission. This is, so this is the second mission after being... No, this is the first mission after being the real detective. I wasn't even in front of the... Dang. Get in, suspect number two. Uh, detective number two. Okay. Okay, they're all recording. I'll keep on checking the record. I'm frustrated. Okay. And also so using a... Uh, 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 remote. Respawn. Dang it! Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I was working so good with, uh, with, uh, with the remote, and I'm not gonna stop the remote. Let's get started. Now I feel so much better because I'm playing, right? Okay, no one in front of me. Does, it, does the story start? Yes, the story starts. Oh, hey, you can't see me through this camera. That you, Bukowski? Go on through. Parking Fine. Line straight ahead. I'll be so kind. I'm calm now. I'm calm now. I need to get back to work, officer. The detectives are here now. You repeat to them what you told me. I did the right thing by calling this in. Oh, Just my my Just give them your goodness. Story and be all right. What was that? <laughs> That was blood. That was so much blood. Must be a neck wound or something like a head wound or something like that. I don't know. Three cars. This is your first case, Phelps. It's okay to admit it if you're stumped. You don't know what to do next. Just come talk to me and we'll see what we can figure out. I'll think about it because I'm the real Thanks detective. The you're okay. Let's go. Steal fun. We got some work to do. I'm walking slowly because I'm professional. Detective never runs. Unless need to. Oh, I didn't read the top, le top left. A lot. Officer Hart. Phelps, traffic. What have you got? Abandoned car, probably stolen. The solid citizen is Nate Wilkie. He called it in. Hmm. What gives with the corner? Sus uh, There's blood victim. all over the interior. No victim. Someone's copped the full Broderick, but no stiff as yet. Witnesses. We have an owner for the car? Blood splashes. The car is registered to an Adrian Black. Okay. Just north of Bunker Adrian Hill. Black. All right. We'll take a look around. I'll keep Mr. Wilkie talking, but don't make him wait too long. He's the restless type. I'll make sure. Uh, I'll be. Nice I'll day be. For it. Okay. Uh, why am I here? Why? Am there we go. Uh, people clues here, clues. I'm gonna check some clues. Abandoned vehicle. Blood splashes. So let's carry on here. Uh, Sir, I'm Detective Phelps. Phelps. Name's Nate Wilkie. Phelps. You've I can't say it. Vehicle? Imagine Phillips. Sure. Phillips. So I just sitting there. It's strange. It's a strange place to be parking your car. Figured <laughs> but it's I'd blood. Take a look. So and much I blood. Saw all the blood. So I call the police. Okay. Uh, witness that the crime scene. So it's purpose of purpose, purpose at scene. Why were you I there? Ask what you were doing out here. Mm-hmm. Well, I work for the railway. Of course, I can see that. I was that. on my way out to the switch and reckon I'd take a shortcut. Nah, he's telling the truth. Don't worry. Did you see anybody else in the yard? Maybe somebody hanging around the car? Nope. I hadn't seen a soul all day till you boys turned up. I want those people at the back. Okay, until you turned up. Okay, so uh, knowledge, knowledge of Adrian Black. Do you know? Do you know Adrian Black, Mr. Wilkie? No, sir. That ain't a name I'm familiar with. He's telling the truth. You ever seen the car before? Yes, he's telling the truth. Funny enough, I did. A couple, a couple of nights ago, it was over there in the parking lot. So it was I recent. Know most of the cars are here a couple of nights ago. So it, so it was two nights out. ago, roughly. 
Okay, so I'm gonna go check this at the... Thank you for your patience, Mr. Wilkie. He wasn't impatient. I'm sure we'll have more okay. questions once we've had a look around. Okay. I need to check the boot. The bon uh, trunk. Ah, a note. Uh huh. Ooh. Mr. S. Morgan. Slaughter. Yesterday? Interesting. He didn't think about that. So, can we take it? No, you can't take it. It's in your notebook. Any blood spatters on the, this weapon? Mm. I think this is any use to us. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, no tires, no problems. Okay. So there's nothing at the back. Uh, here. Ooh. Oh. Victim looks to have lost a lot of blood. Ooh. Think so. Okay. Nothing weird, but just blood splatters. Tons of it. So there's no other clues, right? Wait. Hey. Ah. Uh -uh. Uh, you got a wide shot of the car and its surround? Listen, <laughs> I'm not uh, mad, so I'm just going to go ahead and say this once. You don't tell me how to do my job, and I won't tell you how to do yours. I was just being funny. Oh, that camera came out of nowhere. Uh, let's go see his glasses here. And a wallet. No. This is not a wallet. This? Oh, it's a wallet. Interesting. Adrian Black. Now we know what he looks like. And the girl. Who's? Happier times, I guess. Interesting. Okay, how about this guy right here? Uh, Thirty-two years old, Mr. Married. Black. Sounds like an average guy. What's Interesting. He out here. Yeah, but his stuff is here. So isn't he the one that's dead? Unless this is his car. Yeah, this is his car, I believe. Uh, manipulate objects. Ah. So, uh, <gasps> If you feel a vibration to allow the camera. But I can't feel vibrations with my... My... <laughs> oh, there. I see. Snezel. Stenzel glasses. Mm -hmm. Home repaired by the look of it. Okay, we've got a place. Uh, anything else? Boot. Uh, bonnet. Uh, talk. There, anything you know? Any Doc, Detective Phelps, what have we got? A lot of blood for a blunt force injury. The victim must be in a very bad way. Pretty much. Any he's still alive, though, guy. apparently. Not unless he's in the trunk of the car. No, he's not in the trunk. He's definitely not in the trunk. Can I check here? Can I look inside the cubby hole? If there is no cubby hole here. Uh, no. Doesn't look like anything's. Weird, okay, so there's no other evidence. Can I speak to uh contents of the road? By the car. Was there anything in it when you arrived? You accusing me of something, mister? No. Nope. Doubt. Do you want the patrolman to hold Doubt. You down while we turn out your pockets, <laughs> Mr. Wilkie? Maybe I checked inside that wallet. Not that I was gonna steal anything. Maybe I took a look. Maybe. But there weren't no money in there. Not even change. That sounds like a truth. Yeah, it's a truth. Don't worry. Ah, uh, what can I do? What can I say? Some kind of professional here. So, where are you going? Oh, wait, there's another, there's another part there. Oh, uh, glad I have another detective on my side. Thanks. Hmm. The murder weapon, I presume. So, ah, brand name might give us something to go on. Yeah, but how? Uh, why would they? What? They could have just took it from, uh, like a, uh, from the like a like storage compartment or something like that. So there's, there's something else like, oh, the pipe. Yeah, <laughs> I love the way you think. Okay, I would like to see the pipe. pipe with blood on it near the car. You know anything about it, Mr. Wilkie? No, sir. I went straight for the law when I saw the car was full of blood. Truth. I know when you tell the truth. The was it wet, bright red, or uh, darker like it is now? Darker, I'd say. Looked dry already. 
So it's been like overnight, I presume. Thank you for your help, Mr. Wilkie. We'll contact your okay. employer if we need anything more from you. <laughs> Detector, yeah, first try. They're fully done and lose in the, the other no videos I made. Somebody's got to inform the wife, Phelps. You're done here. We'll head over there now. Okay. We've got some uh, locations. The wife is black residence. This is black residence. Set the destination. We've got some. We've got some destination to go to. Okay, I don't need to run, even though I say I mustn't run. Man, ah, oh, hold why? Please drive for You're me, partner. Wheel. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Do you know what? Happy I am. <laughs> the, oh. Oh. oh, I don't know why it's so happy. I don't know why I'm so happy. <laughs> Skipping to this nation. Do you know how hard it is to drive in LA? Uh, it's hard to drive in general. So, oh, nice, lovely residence, I could say. Come on, detective. Forgot your name. But my name's Phelps. I'll figure out your name sooner or later. Let's go introduce ourselves. You talk to her, Phelps. I'm no good at this shoulder to cry on stuff. I'm definitely good, Just Phelps. She doesn't even know yet, by the looks of it. Can I go? Can I magically put my face through the wall? Nah, I can't. LAPD, Mrs. Black. May we come in? We have some bad news, and we'd rather discuss this in private. I'm Margaret Black. Uh, we can discuss this in the living room. Cool, cool, Please cool. Come in. Cool. Ah, nice, nice house you have here, Miss. Can we? Can I? Okay. Your husband drives a blue Lincoln, Mrs. Black. That's correct. The car has been found abandoned, and I'm afraid there are signs of foul play. I knew something was wrong when he didn't come home. We believe your husband may be injured. We found a pipe hmm. on the scene with blood on it. Oh no! My poor Adrian. Does the name Insta Heat mean anything to you, ma'am? Yes, it does. We, we've just had a new water heater installed. So it came from the trunk. Black? The... Just outside the kitchen window, at the side of the house. I'd like you to try and stay calm and remember everything that you can about last night. Okay. My partner and I are going to take a look around. When you're ready, we're going to have some more questions for you. Is that okay? That's not how you a interrogate. Officer, you have to. Anything to help secure my husband's safety. Oh, so you, uh, it's not reported dead. Let's you can't report someone out. dead. Come on. Okay. Have a good look around. There's got to be something in here to go on. Obviously, I'm going to follow you, detective. I tell you to go in there. You must go in there because definitely. Oh, so there's definitely nothing in there. Hmm. Bedroom. Interesting. Uh. You definitely can't go through that house without a warrant, but uh, apparently I'm doing. Okay, let's go look inside here. Mm. She was an ex-marine. So that's why she's not that shocked. Nothing in the drawers. I don't want to look in there, definitely. Behind the painting! Ooh, wow, what a suspect hide something in there. Okay, there's definitely probably something in this drawer, right? The glasses. It must be empty, right? This must be Adrian's. Adrian! Definitely Adrian's! Look at that. Separate bedrooms, separate pictures. What gives here? I would have to ask her about that sooner or later. Okay. So, they were doing laundry, right? Is this, this, uh, what is that? What the? I have an Oz. So, who brought this home? Is that a drug? I, can't, I don't know anything about drugs, so definitely don't know. Uh, Angie and stuff. Ticket. Where was he leaving? A used ticket to Seattle and a suitcase gone missing. Someone couldn't wait to get out of this house. Hmm. Looks like someone is in trouble. Okay, there's a pipe, right? Ah, uh, there's another one. They both eat, drink drugs. Or maybe she does drugs. Oh, it's matches. <laughs> Sorry. Was a patron. Aren't I should have an address. Okay. Records phone call. Find a phone to call for address. Where are you going? Is there a phone? Is there a phone in there? No, there's no phone in there. Hmm. It's going through everything. Yeah, it's a tick. Uh, 
Insta heat for the this piping. Was recently installed, not two days ago. Yep, definitely. Maybe it's time we took a look around outside. Yeah, I know. Hold on, hold on. Insta heat. This is not the pipe I looked at. Hmm. This is a very expensive one, of course. Okay, I don't want to see again. No. Go away. I need to. I need to check out here because he was. She was. He was looking here. El. Alienist found. Provides help to tr troubled vets. Let's <laughs> further investigate. They smoke a lot though. Uh, oh. Oh. Lie down. Make yourself comfortable. Where? So, your friend of Courtney's. Yes, doctor. Ah. Uh, what do you call it? Therapist. Seems very concerned about you. I have these visions. These blinding visions. Psychiatrist. I can't get out of my head. No, it's a therapist. My skull, it, it feels like it's in a vice. I want to give you something to calm your nerves. Oh, nope. A suspect. Well, by the looks of it, with the music and the ambience, don't know. I want to take you on a journey. Okay, never mind. Just a regular psychiatrist like or the therapist. Don't know the difference. Let's give it a thumb for any That makes no sense, but it is a story to remember. Oh, there's 13 newspapers. I mean, there's 13 different stories. Okay. Yeah, I've already seen that. Okay. Uh, whoa, whoa, what's that liquid? Side to side. Cleaning stuff, huh? Some bleach. Is this bleach, I believe? I don't think this is going to help us. Well, look, look. Fine. Fine. I'd be like that. There's no evidence that she used anything here. So there's a phone here somewhere. Where is the phone? Phone, 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 phone. Oh, uh, you may be showing me something. Wait, move aside. Hmm. Not much help. Yeah, but why were you looking at it? She's detective number two. <sighs> now where is that phone? Where's the 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 phone? Oh there, telephone right here. Cool. What's that on the floor? That's shoes. Operator, message for KGPL. Putting you through now. Oh, the olden days. Phelps badge twelve forty-seven. How could I help, detective? I need an address on a Kavanaugh's bar. Certainly, detective. One moment. Kavanaugh's bar, corner of Aliso and Hewitt, south side of Union Station. Thanks, ma'am. So we got a location. So let's go check outside quickly. There's a pipe in there to go and see who didn't install it or something like that. And we've got to talk to the girl again. Uh, ma'am, again. Piping should be at the back where the. I don't know why I'm looking at that. That's interesting. Ah, someone did a messy job. Huh? Hey? No use leaving the thing half finished. In a rush. Wait, am I gonna. <laughs> no, it doesn't go there. It doesn't go there. It probably goes. There! Just fits perfectly. And now I'm gonna go to this small one, which goes here. Uh, oh, we're checking if there's some missing parts. Dang it. Right here. So it must be the one on the. this side. So it's the one on the right. So the pipe missing from Mr. Black's heater is the same one that killed him. Huh. Seems like the assailant is a little closer to home. So the one, the operator, the one that was fixing the, it's the heat machine. 
Okay, I don't want to see more. Uh, it was jealous. Yes, yes, it was jealous. Very jealous. Okay, so I don't think there'll be anything else. I don't feel like going anywhere else because this is important. Let's go talk to the man. Got Mrs. Black. For more further questions and answers. I already checked there. Detected number two. Okay. <laughs> okay, slaughterhouse receipt. We found a receipt in the trunk of your husband's car for a live pig. This receipt was made out to an F Morgan. A pig? Hmm. Adrian runs a tool business. That would be Frank Morgan. God knows what he's up to. Frank Morgan. He's telling, she's telling the truth. What makes you say that about Morgan, ma'am? He's the foreman at my husband's plant. A very shady character. Hmm. I told Adrian he needs to keep his distance from the staff. Mm -hmm. They're always out drinking together. Hmm. Hmm. Ka Cavanaugh's bar matchbook. Your husband frequents Cavanaugh's bar? Cavanaugh. How did you know that? Adrian practically lives there after work. Dang. That's the truth. So Adrian spends a lot of time. Mm -hmm. Up until recently, he's been away in Seattle a lot on business. Okay, location Adrian Black. Did your husband tell you where he was going last night? All he said was he was going to meet Frank for a drink. So it was an important me meeting. Yeah, that's the truth. So truth! She's telling the truth. He came home early from work. He never comes home early. And he went out early. Ah, <sighs> something you know, just leaves a fair. Until about seven. No, it can't be a fair. Uh, alibi for Mrs. Black. Mr. I Black. think you should come clean with us, Mr. Oh, Black. Mrs. Black. Your husband is missing, and after our search, I'm willing to call the circumstances suspicious. Can you account for your movements last night? You're not accusing me, are you? Oh, what an awful thing to say. I was here all night, of course, waiting for Adrian to come home. Hmm. Doubt. I bet it's... No. It's truth. Is there anyone who can vouch for that? Well, no. I... I was here alone. Obviously. I, I cooked Adrian's dinner and waited. Maybe she wasn't alone. I never came home. Okay, yeah, I was telling the truth. Okay. Thank you, Mrs. Black. I will go and go for this extra place on the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is definitely recording by the looks of it. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. If you want to see more like this, just let me know down in the comments below. Even though I'm going to play these games, but I would like your, uh, your, 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 your uh, opinion. <laughs> I was trying to look for that word, but I'm not trying to look for more complicated words. So I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.